Welcome back, my friends. Uh, we are here in the, the building tower. I don't know, maybe we should name it. Uh, I've just been calling it the new base. And um, I just did, uh, let me just move this here. I did some mining. I got an, an arrow in my shoulder. Yeah, that looks like it hurts. I uh, just did some mining, destroyed the banana hammer, so we're going to have to repair that. And I'm going to turn this, which is going to be the farm area, into maybe some farms. You know, we'll start doing some groundwork, some thinking about what to do, because the the pre-release came out today of you know 1.5. So hopefully, you know, next week maybe um, it will be out full force. So I got to do some thinking. I got to start doing some groundwork, or else I'll just have a ton of work to do. Um, also on the server, we up the the mob count because uh, Bucket had overwrote our original settings, so we weren't getting too, too many mobs. And now we uh, we went from 120 to 240, but we're going to change that to 480. So definitely going to be lots more mobs, which is good for mob towers and such. Um, bad for lighting. Uh, you definitely need to light it up a lot more, which I've been ignoring this. So i got to do some thinking here. Uh, I've talked before about how I want to set this out, but I haven't... I haven't come up with any definite plans. So that being said, let me use some of this stone and I will update you on what the heck I'm building. Okay, um, it's been all of 30 seconds. I just went up here to grab a chest to put some of this in and grab some dirt. Well, I found some chests, uh, that's for sure. Uh, looks like I, I've been uh, pranked a little bit. Sort of, man. Uh, it looks like it's a YOLO prank. Um, YOLO right. Hashtag YOLO. Oh, there's Abby. I guess she was involved. Let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is there a big... I think this was part of uh, the big YOLO sign that was down there. But I removed that, and this is the first time I've been up here since then. So thanks, guys. Um, one, I hope these are your chests and you brought them, because I'm going to need them. The other thing is, I don't have a actual thing up here at ender chest so I have I have no way to get an axe so I'll just use this chest dump all this in then I'll get organized then I will update you on what's going on down there man that's a lot of stone we'll fill up whole chest good thing we got another one and I'm definitely gonna have to get a ton of torches because I can hear the layer below this is just ripe with mobs there's mobs there there's mobs everywhere. Look at them all. Oh, that was a mistake. We're gonna die. No, we're not. We will escape the evil mobs by going down there. Haha, <laughs> can't follow me. Okay, now I'm cutting because I'm rambling. Alright, I got a little update. Uh, it's not done, and it took me a while to think about it, but this is what I have currently. Yes, this is a farm. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it's great. I don't know how many blocks it is, but this will be my potato farm. And I got, I don't have any pistons currently, but uh, the pistons will go right here. Let me see if I have, eh, whatever. Pistons will go here, and uh, a block will go here, and it will be pushed up, which will block the water, which will be here, which will flow down, and it will, you know, harvest everything. The water goes all the way down into here, just like so. And then I'm going to have something over here. Um, basically, uh, this is like the harvest button and you know it will all work as you can see I got a bunch of redstone in me I gotta lay that out and what I'm thinking is because this is a, a 1.5 plan uh, the water will come down here and it will push the items like over to here and I'm hoping uh, I'm gonna have to do some research on it but it will put the potatoes into a chest I didn't grab any chests then I'm gonna use a hopper to pull them out of the chest if that's possible into a furnace it will cook them pull them out of the chest other the furnace and put them in their chest. We'll try. That's going to be a, a good experiment, that's for sure. And um, as far as redstone goes, I believe it is like 15 blocks long, this apparatus. So that means the, the command signal will come up from right here. This will be, uh, I'm going to have like a, a tower of redstone torches. And then I'll do this, and then like that. And then this will go directly to the pistons. Oops. They need to make it so that you could, if you just by holding right click, would just put something down. I guess that's the way it is, but, you know, not for stuff like this. 
Anyway, what am I saying? I don't know. Because that's like that. Well, now we got everything going the wrong way. Can't stand in it. Stupid. Stupid repeaters. So that's that. That should be 15 blocks long, like so. Yeah, this is looking really, really good. Uh, I didn't plan it to be 15, but that's the way it turned out. I guess we could test it by putting down a torch right here and see what happens. They all came on. Alright, so that's going to work out perfectly. And, uh... I don't know what else to say about it for right now, except, uh, let me, uh, well, we got the ice. There's going to be a lot of water work. Uh, I, I think I'll just do that right now, and then I'll show you. Because uh, as you know, with farms, um, this has, in order to be tilled, there has to be water near it. And it's it's difficult working with water so close to repeaters. So uh, I'll see what I can do with that, and I'll keep you updated. I like this little lighting system here because uh, there wasn't enough light to come from the edges, so I just did that. I think it actually looks pretty cool. And they won't interfere with the water at all. It's been a while since we built something cool like this, and I like the design. Alright, waterworks time. Alright, so, in order to uh, hydrate this place, I basically put a whole nother layer down here. You can't see over there, but anyway. So we got a whole layer here, so the water will go down there, uh, which will hydrate up here. And what I did was, uh, temporarily, I put these half slabs in here to hold in the water. Because if I break that, that's water. Yes, very good. And I didn't want it to spilling over here. Now, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to attempt, uh, let's do it here with just a, a few. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. I need that ice. That ice has floated away. Don't use silk touch. You needed that ice, idiot. All right, let me try to get my ice back. And then we'll be up top again. Got my ice back. Uh, now we will stop using Silk Touch. And let's uh, break a few of those. So this uh, should be good. Now what I have to do is I want to... We have to break this. This dirt here. Oh, it looks like I forgot a piece of dirt. Alright. So is this a minor spill? This is a minor water spill. Uh, good thing there's, there's no uh, redstone down there yet. So if we break this... Everything should be fine. It should be flowing, looking good, right? Yep, that looks perfect. Okay, so the trick now is to get out of here, like so. Now what I want to see happen is if I take out this, what happens? Okay, so we can't remove this yet until we get some pistons. We'll have to put the pistons in there, which I don't have, and I probably will not have this episode. Because they take a lot of materials and I don't know where to find them. But this is good. So everything's hydrated. Everything is lit. Uh, now I just need... Uh, what do I need now? Oh, this layer right here, this very top layer, is not hydrated yet. So what I'm going to have to do is... Uh, think some more. And then we'll be, do another little segment of this video. It's looking pretty good. I'm liking this. I think it's going to look fantastical. And... Uh, I'll see you in a second. I don't have any food, so I've been eating zombie flesh because I haven't been back to the old base. Well, I found that many pistons here. That's that many. Uh, three. And uh, so this is what it will look like. Uh, basically, right here, there will be water, just like so. And these pistons will be always up. Oops, that is not what I wanted. And the funny thing is, I'm not using my banana hammer. So we'll just uh, break this like so and put that down. So, these will always be up. And I guess I have to invert the inverter that I built. But So that will go all the way along here once I get the pistons. And then this will be water. And let me see. What's back here? Oh yeah, for this top row of crops right here, they don't have any water hydrating them, so the water will actually be right here. I just need to box it in real quick. Um, let's just toggle this downfall here. So let's see, down here, now what the redstone is, I need to actually take out this inverter. We don't need that, so it's always actually up. And uh, this is a lot of, a lot of trickery here. I'm just trying to it's hard working without feather falling too because you can only ender pearl so much and I'm constantly having to eat the zombie flesh so if I break this down here 
I hear I hear a zombie. I'm scared. Then what I can do is we can use the dirt to cover this up, and that will hydrate the one layer, like so. Cool. All right, so that will be done. And then this the uh, the pistons need doing. All right, well, we will finish this up later because it's it's kind of tacky right now. Oh, that sounds scary, scary zombies. All right, actually, let's see if we can uh, get this to work. Okay, up there, uh, if you can make it out, there's those three stone bricks. If I put this, down, whoops, let's not right click with the ender pearls in our hand. If we do that, hello, like so. What's going on here? Oh. <laughs> okay, well, we'll do this then. That should uh, make it work. Actually, putting down the redstone. Now let's see if it works. Put this down. Those go up. And then the water would come streaming down. Epic! Alright. That's good enough for right now. We'll work on more of that later. Um, now I need to do a subscriber shoutout. And uh, I guess we will go to the end grinder. Actually, you know what? I don't feel like going to the end grinder today. So, what I'm thinking is... Hmm. We've done suicide recently. I, Ian's been bragging to me that his score is 120 or 190,000 every time he dies. So I'm a little bit curious as to what my score is. Since it's nighttime and the mob rates have been increased and then decreased because they were way too high, uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find a mob. So what I'm thinking is, I'll just dump everything in this chest here, and then we'll get killed by a mob. That will be the subscriber shout-out. And then I can go home and find some food and everything. That sounds like a great plan. Okay, so here we go. This is the subscriber shout-out. How long will it take us to find a mob? There's an Enderman. Hey! Hey, buddy! How are you? Okay. Whoa, he's chasing me! <laughs> okay, let's see. 156,000. Alright, we're gonna have to... I think the thing is, uh, Ian's been hanging out in the end grinder, so he's just, like, getting levels for the heck of it. I don't know. So let's see, do we have any of these in here? Uh, nope. There might be some more... some more bits and pieces at the, uh... The depot, sand depot. I'm gonna need some more torches. I'm gonna grab all this stuff. But at the same time, I'm gonna end this episode for today, my friends. And uh, we will get back at it tomorrow. I think we made some pretty good progress. A bunch of gold and crappy swords. I should throw those out. A diamond. Wow. That's a sword and a half, isn't it? Okay. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.